Hey Aptera fans, it's Chris. The team here in San Diego and our team in Italy have made lots of progress in the last month. And we want to show you some of the progress today. Last month, we shared that over 60% of our body structures for Aptera have been produced and validated. This month, we're excited to tell you that our biggest and longest lead body part, the tub, has been completed at the CPC factory. They used their huge 5,000 ton press. It's a key structural part, which the rest of the vehicle is built from. This is one of the largest carbon fiber SMC parts ever. And it's a huge accomplishment by the CPC group. The die to produce this consists of over 100 metric tons of hardened steel. And Steve is in Italy right now checking up on CPC's progress. What's the latest, Steve? Good morning, everybody uh, from Modena. I'm here with uh, Thomas Vecchi. He's the general manager of uh, CPC. And we're sitting in uh, the first pressing of the tub of the new Aptera with most of the structural pieces in place. Now, there's something special about this tub, Thomas. Uh, tell us about it. Well, what is special? It's uh, entirely in carbon fiber. So uh, especially in these moments where the lightweight is uh, super important for the autonomy of a vehicle, for the safety of our vehicle. And, um, but not only is it entirely in carbon fiber, it's made with a, with a process that is a forging process, a press. Uh, so that we are sure 100% that every part is identical one to the other during production. So we're expecting very high volume. For this reason, we use the material that is um, very friendly to the automatization of the process. So it's carbon fiber SMC. Uh, we don't have scrap of raw material. This is very, very important for sustainability. Uh, we can obtain ribs, uh, commoded inserts. We can do whatever shape we want. and. By the way, this is the biggest part CPC has ever done during its, um, you know, long, uh, long career within this this new process. And uh, the part is nearly three meters long, and um, it was a challenge. We made it. The tool is working, and now we can produce literally one of these parts every 12 minutes. That is, you know, for the future of carbon fiber, a, a very good result. Now, you sent me pictures of you guys unloading the tool to make this just a couple of days ago, and you're already pressing the parts, but it looked like there was a crane, a truck, and a lot of uh, effort to get, that's like one of the biggest tools you have to get that in your tool shop. But apparently it fits okay because it was able to, to uh, print this out or to forge this. Now, when we think of, uh, you know, you, you've been in the automotive business your, your whole career. Uh, you've seen how the vehicles are built. Uh, typical body and whites have hundreds of parts. Um, what's so special in difference, or in comparison rather, about this vehicle versus the way regular cars are built? Well, what we're seeing is uh, in the latest years is that you're trying to reduce as much as possible the amount of components that you need to build a vehicle. Why? Well, it's, it's quite simple. One is simplicity. The second is literally the managing the supply chain because less components means less suppliers, means not having to send SQEs all around the world. So uh, this is something we started working on 10 years ago and we have other examples on the market that we have um, uh, worked on. But Aptera literally is the refinement of all this experience of the last 10 years in one vehicle. But this vehicle will be made of eight to nine components bonded together. But the tub is a typical example. You have literally a good 20% of the vehicle done in one part. It normally would have been done of 200 parts welded together in steel, aluminium, and other exotic materials. And, um, and we did it different. We did it just one component that makes and has, you know, the function of like, yeah, as you can see in here, you've got ribbing, you've got cables, that can pass through this component. You got all the fixing of the interior of the component. At the same time, you're you're managing the seats. So it's all in one. I mean, you've got places uh, for high voltage cables, for low voltage cables already molded into the tub. Everything is positioned and tooled. So things that bolt up to it just go into the exact place without any fuss. Uh, so instead of having to make that for a bunch of stamp parts, it's one part. So that's fantastic. Now, I know you guys just pulled this out. So there's flashing on everything, but uh, you guys don't just throw away the flashing when it's trimmed. It actually goes back into uh, a, an area to be recycled and reused yes. for applications. So this, this is the, the future of carbon fiber will be the recycling of the fibers. So um, why? Because you can impregnate them once more with new resins. 
But the fiber that is, let's say, the, the heart of the material is uh, saved and recycled up to five times. So even this for the future is, uh, is very important. And uh, yes, as you said, this is uh, all this D-Flash. We didn't even have the time to take it away because during your visit, we wanted to show you where we are. But naturally, the next process will be the CNC machining. Then after that, we will be doing the controlled assembly of this vehicle, so the bonding. Uh, and it's not assembled mechanically, it's assembled by bonding, like Formula One vehicles. That is a lot safer due to the fact that you have more surface to connect two components compared to just the welding that is on the perimeter of uh, two components. I mean, and this is something that you guys are doing already with all the different vehicles that you build. Yes. So across all kinds of different uh, lines, you guys are using a very similar process. And this is just the result of all those years. You've culminating into one vehicle. So just for the, the viewers, I want to show them, we're sitting way far up so we can see the camera. But if I sit back where the seat is, um, it's actually, I mean, it's very big inside. Yes. I, I did not realize we have all this room. So it's going to be really exciting to see it. Um, Thomas, thank you very much uh, for you and your team Steve. for making this happen. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Steve. The team is gearing up to assemble the entire body in carbon, or BINK as we like to call it, with the goal of having the first of many production intent vehicles completed over the next few months. Here in San Diego, our solar team has been building production intent solar panels. A not so well kept secret is the new material our production intent solar panels are made with. It's glass. To showcase the lamination method, we've made a solar hood for our gamma vehicle. This panel is producing 75 watts of power as we speak. And the proprietary glass it's made with has extreme scratch protection, an incredible finish, and exceptional impact resistance. The best part, the solar panels are a whopping 40% lighter than before. In other exciting news, we now have less than 500 priority delivery slots left in our accelerator program. This limited time opportunity allows Aptera fans to become co-owners of Aptera, accelerate our solar future, and secure one of the first 2,000 Aptera vehicle delivery slots. If having one of the first solar electric vehicles in the world sounds cool to you, check out aptera.us forward slash accelerate for more information on becoming an accelerator. We're looking forward to closing out this program in the coming months and showing more progress towards production thanks to your investment. The team in San Diego and Italy are excited to get solar mobility to the world as quickly as possible. To highlight even more of the latest details, we're hosting an investor webinar on December 13th. If you aren't already, become a co-owner of Aptera between now and then to receive a private link to this event. We've also been having fun releasing video renderings to showcase different Aptera features. Let us know in the comments below what you'd like to know about our production intent vehicle designs. We'll do our best to share new Aptera features as we await the first completed production intent vehicles in real life. For all of you following closely along our path towards solar mobility, I would like to address our timeline. Our high volume production plan is contingent upon receiving an extra boost of capital, making it difficult for us to share clear estimates of timing. However, things are moving steadily along. We have several term sheets signed with excited potential investors to get us to the funding we need for high volume production. We hope this lengthy process comes to fruition early next year, keeping us on track to deliver our first units before the end of 2024. And over the next few months, we have all hands on deck working to complete the first production intent builds. Know that with each passing day, your support and enthusiasm powers our progress. We're grateful to be in a position that we are today, and we can't wait to show the world what can happen when a passionate community believes in doing the impossible. Thanks so much for your support. Until next time. Yeah.